Welcome to 2021, where the real estate market looks a whole lot like it did at the end of 2020. This is Steve, real estate agent Keller Williams, Malone Realty Group. Thanks for tuning in. So let's talk about where we are right now with our first official video uh, highlighting the, the market. And as we know, the end of 2020 ended with record low interest rates. It uh, had record low inventory. Uh, and we had uh, numbers that looked like Despite the pandemic, we're actually going to sell more homes, not only you know within the, the metro Atlanta area, but really across the entire country. We sold more homes uh, in 2020 than we did in 2019, despite the pandemic. So we're still waiting for the official numbers, but everything looks like once the official numbers are counted, that's what's going to uh, that's where we're going to end up. So that's how we ended 2020, completely on fire, record low rates, and inventory very low. And here we are, middle of January, and we're about the same thing. The uh, the rates are maybe up a hair, just a hair. They are still right near historic lows. So it's one of those situations where if you're looking to buy, it's a great time to buy because the rates, if you're looking to refi, you may have more success refining than you will buying because there's just such low inventory. And just to give you an idea of some of the inventory issues, we got some numbers from our uh, team meeting yesterday. When you look in just a three county area for Scythe, Gwinnett, and Hall counties, uh, in December, uh, so last month, we had 1,800 homes that were on the market in those three uh, counties. So 1,800 homes. In January, which is about a year earlier, we had about 4,500 homes that were on the market. So you have well under half. Uh, by the time you got to the end of the year as you had the beginning of the year. And when you look at the official FMLS numbers, and that's the entire metro Atlanta area, uh, November of 2020, we had about 20,000 homes on the market. In November of 2019, we had about 31,700 on the market. So you were down a good third from uh, where you were uh, in November 19 to November 20 as far as the number of homes on the market. But then you factor in the fact that you actually sold more homes. We sold more homes in November of 2020 than 2019. So we had fewer homes on the market, but still sold more. Things are rocking and rolling out there if you're selling your home because of the rates, because of the lack of inventory. So what we were looking at into 2021 was the potential that the rates may change at some point. Uh, the potential that you're going to have more homes on the market, which would be driven not only by uh, more homes coming on the market because of the forbearance and foreclosure moratoriums coming to an end, but also because the coronavirus was going to start kind of you know going away and everything was going to start getting back to normal, especially with the vaccines coming online. That has not happened yet. We are at January 14th right now, and the vaccine rollout is not quite as quick and um, not going as well as everybody had hoped uh, by this point. Um, and, and hopefully things definitely pick up. But that was going to be something that uh, a lot of people were going to use as a way of saying, okay, things are going to be under control. We're going to get things back to normal. Maybe let's get more, some people in our house and let's sell our house because maybe the coronavirus is going to be taking that turn. Right now, uh, as of this recording, again, on January 14th, the numbers continue to go up as far as the number of people uh, currently with the virus, as far as the number of fatalities in Georgia, uh, <clears throat> continues to go up as well, higher than it's been at any point. So, and with the vaccine rolling out slower, people were thinking that maybe by spring to middle part of this year, things are going to be a little bit better to where people will be a little more comfortable selling their house, maybe even being more comfortable going back to the city because people have gone away from the city and gone outside to get a little bit more land, get a bigger house, uh, get ready for, you know, having you know work from home things like that at some point people are going to want to go back into the city and when they were thinking maybe that would happen sometime by the middle of this year doesn't look like that's going to happen right now based on what the numbers look like so based on what we look like right now what can we expect well keep in mind the rates they're only up a hair i don't expect them to go down a whole lot and if they go up i don't really expect them to go up a whole lot if they went up into the threes because right now it's below three if they got up into the threes maybe even mid threes it may uh, scare some buyers out of the market, which at this point, it would allow for a little bit more of a normal market if you had fewer buyers out there because you have such low inventory. Right now, though, with the rates as crazy as they are, anything that goes on the market, if it looks the part and it's priced right, it's going to sell uh, right now. It's got multiple offers on it. It's completely crazy right now. We're working with some buyers in the Gwinnett area that everything that comes on that we look at, uh, you're going to have multiple offers on it. So, 
the rates, you know, hoping for a little bit of relief and it's just a hair of relief. I just don't think it's going to be enough to change things. So the rates are going to stay the same. Let's talk about the, um, the number of homes on the market. The, again, the hope was that we we're going to have a little bit more as far as uh, homes on the market because people are going to be a little more uh, confident in the recovery uh, with the coronavirus. doesn't look like that's going to happen for several months, number one. Number two, we have a new administration that's going to be sworn in next week. What is that going to mean for the markets? We just don't know right now. The foreclosure moratoriums have been pushed back and pushed back, and the foreclosure, the time when actually foreclosures can go back on, keeps getting pushed back, pushed back, and it's supposed to be the end of January right now where a lot of the foreclosures have been pushed back. It may continue to get pushed back. We'll have to see how things play out. Same thing with the forbearances. A lot of people who went into forbearance back in March and April, those are going to come due in March and April. And the thought process is some of those, uh, they may want to sell so that way they can pay things back and kind of move on to the next home. But maybe that payback gets pushed back a little bit because of everything going on in the market right now. So if, if those things get pushed back a little bit and the coronavirus continues to push back a little bit and we don't have the relief that we thought, it's looking like it's going to be a wild couple of months still through February and March uh, in real estate, kind of the same thing. So if you can stomach it, if you can handle having people in your house trying to sell your house, we keep repeating it. We keep saying it. We keep beating the drum, but it is the truth. There has not been a time like this to sell your home uh, that we can remember where you had so many buyers that are in the market. You had such great rates to support those buyers and you just had very, very low inventory. So what does that mean for 2021? We just don't know. We're just going to see how things roll out. The hope is that the vaccinations, they pick up a little bit as more of the companies like the Johnson & Johnson vaccines that are going to be coming on. You know, those look like they may have a little bit, um, you know, will help at least uh, to stabilize things. And hopefully not necessarily, it's not going to necessarily matter whether or not they work quickly or not. But I think that when people have that idea of you know, things are moving in the right direction. I think that that's going to just change, um, change kind of the, the feeling of the country. And I think that that may change things and have people more comfortable putting stuff back on the market, being more comfortable going back into the cities, you know, things like that. But when the vaccines aren't coming out as quickly as we thought, and the numbers continue to go up, we're probably going to stay right here, uh, real estate wise, where we are. We're probably going to stay here for a couple more months and let's see how things shake out once we get into March. But that could all change. As we all know, in 2020 and in 2021, unfortunately, already, uh, things change very quickly. So let's let's just uh, keep an eye on it. And if you want to talk about it, that's what we do. Give me a call, 470-233-4409, 470-233-4409. This is Steve Keller Williams. Y'all be good. Happy 2021.